Hey guys, it's Nerona and we're getting ready for sled season. So I wanted to show you uh, the Baofeng radios that we're doing this year that every sledder needs in their group. So uh, to order one of the radios, you can just uh, um, PM me and this is how you how they come in the box. So it's a dual band um, and uh, high and low output power. So what, what's great about these radios and my experience was um, some of them, they just don't go far enough. And when you're in the big mountains and you got to go down a big chute, um, it's important that one person goes at a time for uh, could be debris in that shoot or whatever and these radios go super far so when the person gets to the bottom they can radio up and let you know if it's okay or not okay so that's why i started using these radios so in the box you get your user manual they're actually pre-loaded um, with uh, all, a lot of the channels that you need and fsr roads in um, in british columbia um, and there's 128 channels total so you get the, the radio right here. Um, you get uh, a short antenna in the box that we use around your you know, local around your house. But for the mountains, you're gonna use this long antenna. This comes with it. And then you're gonna get that long distance. Comes with a mic and, uh, and then um, an earpiece and your charger. Now the mic is not waterproof. So I also sell the, the covers for them. And, uh, and so you can add that as well. Now, um, luckily we've got uh, Ray here today. We're gonna go through a little bit of the radio just to show you uh, what it can do. So uh, Ray's got his radio and uh, Ray, give us a little bit of a, uh, a show. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have your antenna in the, uh, in the radio before you start it, correct? Yeah, the, the issue with that is if you accidentally push the transmit button without the antenna, there's a small chance that you can blow the power amplifier because uh, it's putting all the the power back into the radio instead of it exiting out. Right. So, so when we first turn it on, you hear it said channel mode. There's two modes, and this will the, be the mode that they use the most. But it also has a frequency mode, and I'll just explain how. You just hold the menu key and turn it on. Frequency mode, menu. And... Uh, in frequency mode, if you have a frequency that you need to use that's not pre-programmed into your radio, you can go into the frequency mode, then just punch in the number One, you want. Five, zero, 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 zero. And, and the six, and that's just that easy because um, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> to go back to channel mode, you just turn it off again, hold the menu key down, turn it back on. Channel mode. And you're back into channel mode. These, like they said, there's 128 channels. Uh, <clears throat> the way they come, there's about 110 uh, that are uh, programmed in. So we have the uh, family service radio frequencies. There's 22 of those. And then we have the RR channels, which are the BC logging road channels. And there's 35 of those. And there's some other channels too, um, some VHF channels that we put in there that uh, if you don't want anybody on your channel, you just go to one of those and you'll be sure that nobody else is, is on them. And uh, so there's two ways that you can select your channel. If you know the number, you can just punch it in. So if I wanted uh, channel 20 and just, um, excuse me. If I want channel 20, I can't, punch in 20 i have to punch in a three digit code so we go have to go zero, zero two zero. zero or you can scroll up and down with these two one these arrow two, two 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 one and that two is it. zero so there's a couple other features on these radios as well it has fm broadcasting station you can just push that if you want to scan through it you just push the scan button down here in the left corner. And take another step forward. You push it once, it uh, turns off. If you push and hold it, it does that. Pretty annoying. And this button here at the bottom, M, is for a flashlight. So you push it once, the flashlight goes on. You push it again, it flashes. You push it again, it goes off. The other big button here is your lock button. Lock. So when you're sledding, you you want this in your backpack with your antennas sticking out of your backpack. 
and you'll want it locked so it doesn't accidentally change uh, channels. Cool. And one of the things uh, Ray was saying in the frequency mode, uh, you were out dirt biking um, and you came across, uh, they were doing some uh, mining and work up there and they actually didn't want anybody on the roads because they had trucks going by. And then uh, you, you said, oh, what frequency are you using? And the guy gave the frequency. So you were able to change right into the frequency and then actually he was fine with you going on those roads. And that's yeah. a big thing in BC with the logging trucks, et cetera, is they're coming down and they, they you don't want to surprise the logging truck. So being able to go on the, the, the functional channels that are already programmed in the radio for logging roads, but also being able to change the frequency. And the other important thing with that, when you talk about doing your own frequency, you're changing it, that there is a reset button in there and you don't ever want to hit it because that erases all your channels back to basically zero and then they have to be pre uh, reprogrammed in and you can do that you can send the radios back to us and we'll program them but there is a cost to do that and you have to ship them so if you if it asks you to reset don't do that <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anything else to add Ray? uh if you want to scan through if you're just like driving down the road and want to see who's talking you can uh well we gotta unlock it first unlock. you can just push the scan button and it will scan through the the, the different uh channels Scanning beacon. Scanning stop. So, Scanning the, beacon. The other thing too, Ray, is it's dual channel, right? So the Scanning top channel, stop. you have a channel and then you can change that to the bottom channel and the top channel has priority? The top channel has priority if you're getting a signal coming in, it, it will go to that one. So this is what they call, call dual channel. We've got one on the top, that's called the A channel. One on the bottom, that's called the B channel. You can see this little arrow on the side. This is the one if you're going to change anything. So we're scrolling up and down, five, it does that. Five, we want one. to change the, the channel at the top. We push this one here, which says exit A slash B. And now we can change two, whatever three, settings you want two, for that channel. One. And if you don't want a dual channel, if you don't want to be bothered at all with other channels, you can just set them both to the same channel. Correct? Just set them both to the cha same channel. So with the push to talk buttons, there's two. There's one at the top for the A channel and one at the bottom for the B channel. And then the, the big thing with the, with the uh, remote mic is... There's only one button on here. So this is the same as the bottom, the B. The mic is the B button, basically. B button. Right. So whatever channel that you're mainly using should be, uh, on the bottom. Uh, should be on the bottom. And then if you want to be listening to something else on the other one, uh, you can put that on the top channel. Cool. Awesome. Well, that's a little bit about the Bale Fang radios. And again, you can PM me. This is a must have for uh, definitely all the sledders out there for winter, but dirt biking, hunting, everything. Um, these radios are, are uh, number one, super powerful and, and they work really well and they're, and they're easy, something everybody should have for, for group communication. So thanks, Ray, for uh, taking us through that. You're welcome, Dave. Yeah. And have a safe winter. Yeah, you too. We'll get out riding.